welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Oh, man. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Gene. <laughs> Your main Gene is getting back out there. I got some 2018 dates to announce. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Des Moines, Iowa, mm. also known as Des Moines. Uh, what is it? February, February mm-hmm. 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to be at the uh, Des Moines Funny Bones. And then also, I added, you're going there too, uh, Sh- Shart Lake Titties. Yeah. I'm going to Shart Lake Titties April 12th through 14th. So I'll be there. If you're in uh, either city, go to tomsgura.com slash tour and uh, get tickets. Shart Lake Titties, Des Moines, Iowa. What else you got, Gene? Uh, January 12th, my 8 o'clock show sold out at the Ice House in Pasadena. So we've added a 10 o'clock show. So get your tickets now. That is coming up soon. That is this Friday. So Christina P. Online for those tickets. February 2nd and 3rd. So February. See, I didn't say it right. Right, you said it, it wrong. February. It's February. That's right. Hmm. Second and third, uh, Short Lake Titties, Puta at Wise Guys, Come In Your Face Club. February 23rd, one night, one show only, Calusa Casino in Calusa, California. March 30th and 31st, Portland, Oregon at the Herium Comedy Club. Christina P. Online for your ticks. Can you see how I said uh, ticks at the end? Like T-I-X. Yeah, ticks shorthand. Yeah. This is a... Uh, <laughs> What's it called? This is Psycho Short- Funk. Shorthand. By Eddie Bojangles. You love it. I can tell. You, you love, love it, it, huh? Yeah. I could see you wearing your high heel shoes dancing to this. Me and my sisters out in the town. Mm, girl, I'll feel you tonight. Did it again, Eddie Bojangles. You don't need no man. Time to get into the show, Gene. Are I'll you psych- ready? For one heck of a fun. Yeah? Yeah. Ready? Here we go. Let's get into it, Gene. Foster, bitch, you fuck you, fuck you. Bloody fuck you, bloody. (laughs) Fucking mother, bloody fuck, bitch. Bitch, you bloody fuck you, you. (laughs) Fucking bloody bastard. You. Bench hood, bloody. Bench hood, you. You blunder. No, but why is. Bloody, no. (laughs) This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Um, a quick reminder, this happens, as you know, whenever something like this occurs, but it is my duty and my obligation. You said duty. Duty and obligation <laughs> to remind you uh. that your boy, T-Buns, has a brand new Netflix special. Oh! Uh, you can begin streaming worldwide this Friday, January the 12th. Netflix, the special is called Disgraceful. <laughs> and you can stream it worldwide. I'm very excited. <laughs> Just don't forget to check it out. Tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, Tom, what can people expect from this What special? can people expect is one of my favorite interview <laughs> questions about a comedy show. It, you can expect uh, that I go for it. Politics, are you going to be talking a lot of oh, yeah. heavy issues? Oh, it's so funny people politics. wait. They go, um, I hope you don't fuck up and do a bunch of Trump jokes. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> right, because <laughs> that's what you, the, you're the political comic. Or even like, like, but who are you to decide like what's what's fucking up and what's not? I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you silly. mean personally for you it would upset you? Okay. <laughs> I hope you don't say anything that I take offense yeah. to. <laughs> It's like, that's no, that's favorite. not what I do, but like, dude, that's my favorite. I already don't like you. <laughs> like, Just so you know, I have a son. Yeah, send me the criteria. Who has blonde hair. Send me the, the your personal criteria for what 
the special, exactly all the turns it should take <laughs> and the topics it should tackle. And then if I'm they're like, upset. you know, I was up, I, I was up to you, I was with you up until this point. That's what they tell you. Oh, too. I've I've gotten those. I had a guy who was so he loved my special until I made fun of Dick Clark, and for him, Dick Clark was the gold standard. And he was very upset with me. And well, then and he liked a lot of it because that was the closing. That was the bit. last bit. Yeah. He he was on board, and then I I, I lost him there. So I know I saw a lot of backlash for uh, <laughs> Chappelle. You know. So yeah, I've been seeing and, that too. And then they were like, you you know this top. And then they also some people were like, you shouldn't have done Trump jokes. It's like why why shouldn't he? He can do what he wants. Yeah, it's like what are you talking about, man? Yeah. He didn't like ask you what do you want to see, and then went against <laughs> your wishes. He's doing his own show. Yeah. I yeah, and also too, you know, with uh, I've been reading about the offense people have been taking. Not people, I should say. I should say the writers, the uh, the PC people they're going after Chappelle. Yeah, and and it, my favorite. I read an article. It was like, you know, he's unsympathetic to trans people, and he should be more sympathetic to trans people of color. Like, as if to imply that Dave Chappelle is not only responsible for one type of trans, but he should be thinking of the spectrum of yeah. all types of people with all types of gender identity and, and colors. And, like, he can't be responsible for all of it, guys. No. Like, he's just a man with his point of view trying to make some he's jokes. He's just trying to share jokes. <laughs> right, right. That's what he's responsible that's, that's, for. That's his job. He's responsible, he's responsible for going for jokes. Yeah. If he was like, I'm not doing jokes tonight, then you'd be like, he's a very irresponsible at his job. Right. And yeah. he should be taking into account every person of color with the race and the gender and the thing. So and the, crazy. It's like, dude, g give the guy a fucking no. break. He's a funny guy. He's a good yeah. entertainer. Yeah. Just maybe he's not for you. That's another option. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always like to remind people. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I'm not for you. <laughs> maybe other people are not for you. But there are a lot of options. Right. Yeah. How, how about that? It's one of my favorite ones to say to people who write to me about Netflix when they're like, I didn't like this part of your Netflix <laughs> thing. I, I always write back. I wish they had other shows you could watch. <laughs> right, like, right. The catalog. Are there any other specials there? Yeah, just thousands of them. Thou a sea of them. <laughs> um, but no, I'm. I'm actually. I'm very much looking forward to it coming out. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Everyone is. It was a fun. It was a fun tour. This is a uh, snapshot of like one of the best nights of the tour. So I think it's it's going to be a fun special. Well, it was super funny when you recorded it. I was there for that. You look great. Yeah. You sounded great. Yeah. I think the material is outstanding. I think people are, uh, your fans are going to be very happy with this one. I hope so. I hope yeah. so, yeah. It's a big deal. Um, I'll get off social media that day. Now, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Don't even, come on. You know, I've read about uh, some big actors, they go to other countries. Weren't you telling me that? No, I was telling you that ugly guy from Star Wars, the one who plays. Fart uh, Wars, I think you mean? Yeah. He was on Girls. Um, oh, that ugly guy. The yeah. ugly. <clears throat> By the way, name? you know, I don't know what it is about the Star Wars casting because we just saw the la the latest installment yeah. and everybody's fucking a, a dog city. Yeah. Dog chow. Uh, I don't know why why they can't cast attractive actors to play. Oh, I know. The leads. I the, mean, every, everybody's a fucking Bowser. On, it's a dog pound. Why? There, as the, you would say. It's oh, a bunch of dogs on the on there. Um, and then especially this, that guy from Girls. Yeah. Adam Driver. Uh, that's his name. He is so ugly. This I don't is, even know why he's an actor. This is a leading man now? No, I know. I know. No, he looks good there. there. That's a good photo. Is it? Okay. But, I mean, look, I'm not, I personally, I don't find him sexually attractive. Maybe some women do, but I feel no. like he's not very traditionally handsome. Let's, let's say that. We're traditionalists. We want you to be handsome the way we want it to be handsome. He looks good there, though. That's upsetting. That, that's like a good photo. Good photo of him? He looks uh, like a young Kinu there. I don't disagree. No, but in the movie, you're just like, is there Ugh. a better look? Is, can you put your mask back on? Yeah. That's what I wanted him to do, because that guy's like, take that ridis ridiculous helmet yeah. off. Yeah. I'm like, how about I put that shit back on? Or paint more of those black scars on your face. Yeah. Remember, like the stitching? Yeah. He looked cooler with the scars on his face, I thought. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, anyway. Um, and no spoiler. I'm not going to spoil or alert or, any, or whatever the word is. You ruined the plot for you. They, they, Luke Skywalker does make an appearance, okay? And we know that he was he goes to the island of the gurus or wherever he's from. Chififar Island. Right. Chifalkrook. Chif Chif now, uh, annoying to us as viewers, they don't address the biggest issue, which is how does he masturbate because there's no internet connection. There's no masturbation. And there's also, it's like there's all this high-tech shit, but he's not watching any porn or asking for porn. 
Like even when he runs right. into another person, he's like, he's not like, did you bring any porn with you? Right. That's right. so stupid. Well, and he's been there for so many years. He's been there a long time. Doesn't try to fuck. He's not like, <laughs> what's up with your tits? <laughs> like, well, there's no other humans there. There's only yeah. Those but then he runs and... into a human at some point, and he's right. not like, are you down? Right. That's like, not it. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird, and he lives in like a brick hut, so we we didn't get to see how he shits or where he shits, which. I think that's the first question. There's no bathroom breaks in any part of the movie. There's <laughs> aliens and people coexisting. No one's like, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no one says, like, I gotta, right. I'm horny. I want to jerk off. Right. No one tries to fuck anybody. And nobody eats ever in these films, which yeah. makes me crazy. Like, Which I guess is the explanation God. for why they're not going to the bathroom. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really stupid. Like I think George Lucas has a real... <laughs> fucking hole in this thing <laughs> it's a major major plot holes yeah maybe they eat like military mres that block them up you know like they're high c- calories where's that scene where is this yeah where's that scene i mean they're on spaceships and he's not like you see a spaceship where there's like a wookie um yeah, where does he shit a, a couple humans God. another alien yeah and no one's like hey we're up in the spaceship right now do you guys want to have an orgy Right. Or like, does anyone got shit? <laughs> well, you'd think the Wookiee would take Wookiee-sized dumps, oh, too. Oh, they'd be horrendous. If, where's Chewbacca shit? And they'd shit? be like, get out of here, you know, and they'd force him to shit out of the side <laughs> of the, you know, spaceship. What does Chewbacca eat? Like, they don't... Doesn't show him eating. Doesn't show him, by the way, trying to fuck any women, which right. a Wookiee, you would look at and be like, that's gonna, that's a that rapist. Fox. Yeah. Well, and it's annoying because he and... C-3PO or, or no R2-D2 they both say the same phrases over, like wah, 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 and then the other the human understands it yeah always oh you mean you want to go outside Chewie yeah like that that sounded exactly the same as everything he's been saying for 20 years maybe it's like Japanese you know they just grunt a lot and you're like well that's a totally different phrase <laughs> it's that just really... like Japanese yeah Japanese yeah. you're like that's the same thing you just said sure or Mandarin they're like shun, 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 right shun, shun, shun. and you're like Okay, what does that mean? And they're like, right. that means we have lunch in 17 minutes. And right. then you're like, all right. And then they're like, shun, 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 shun. you're like, we, I know I heard you. They're like, no, now I just said that the, the car downstairs, the tires are flat. And you're like, right. wait, you just said 17 minutes ago. So you're equating the Wookiee language with Mandarin or the R2 D2 language with, with uh, one of the oldest languages on the planet. Shun, 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 shun. There's a lot of shitting. Do you think George Lucas studied uh, Japanese and then wrote the language? Well, I was not doing Japanese. <laughs> Japanese is like, <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I, my ear is not as tuned as yours. <sighs> do you think there are people out there, like, you know how people learn Klingon? Do you think there are people that learn to speak Chewbacca's language? Like, of there's course. schools and of they, course. yeah. Yeah, of course. And and the C three PO language or whatever. R2 there are people language. so dedicated <laughs> to virginity, being nerds. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, they're definitely. Wow. And What's I, that three PO? <laughs> uh, I know it's one of the dumbest things I think that happens. You know. That's <laughs> not. I don't think it's fair to equate uh, Chinese or Japanese with the Wookiee language. Um, or C three PO. I think that's pretty R2 accurate. R two D two's language. I keep mixing them up. R two D two's the tiny one. C three PO's the the gold the uptight. Yeah. The no fun bro- robot. Yeah, he's the gay robot. Yeah. He's totally gay, right? Yeah, he's like, oh, Master Luke. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very much like he. You picture yeah. him always going like, oh. Yeah, he's Faye. Yeah. Do you think so? You think George Lucas wrote him as like the gay, definitely the gay robot. Speaking of accents and difficult to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Segura, master of accents. Let me tell you, your title has slipped off so much in the last couple of years. Why do you got to remind people? First of all, that opening clip, was that my stepdad? Uh, People thought it was your stepdad. (laughs) And they wanted to know if that's what it sounded like when you were growing up. Yes. For people that don't know... Christina grew up with an Indian stepdad. That's not just an amazing a joke. reference. Yeah, and three Indian stepsisters. So true. And uh, and we ate a lot of curry, and he talked a lot of shit. Yeah, is that what it sounded like? Let's go back. Not to that. thick. No, he didn't have a thick accent. It's like that. the folder says Christina's stepdad arguing. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. If you want to go, then you go to hill and go down. Yeah. Why you get okay, fried, man? Why? Are you crazy? You're fucking. You are fucking. You are fucking. You fucking. Fucking you, bloody. You bloody. You bloody. 
Foster needs you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I That's love, great. I love this style of arguing. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's a chance <laughs> that they both speak the same language, <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're refusing to they're get into choosing it. English. Yeah, they're choosing the words, the only words they know, which is fucking, fuck you, yeah, bloody. So they obviously live in the UK. Yeah. And uh, look how like, real anger is kind of scary, right? Dude's it is. angry. My stepdad used to get into altercations with strangers like this, too. He didn't speak like this, right? Not this. No. No. He, he spoke, spoke really good English. Yeah. He was from Bombay, mm -hmm. formerly Mumbai. Could you hear the Indian accent? Every now and then it would come out, but it was not thick. Because he came to the U.S. when he was like 28 years old. That's pretty late. I know. But, but you forget that they were taught English because... You know, the okay. British took yeah. over yeah. India. So I'm assuming he learned English early in life. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, sometimes it would come out, you fucking, uh, he did that a lot. Mm -hmm. You motherfucker, you little fucking fucking guy. Like that's how he's, yeah, I fucking killed a guy. Like he ha he actually sounded more like Midwestern I think sometimes. It was weird. Your stories about him are absolutely terrifying. I know. He's dead now, thankfully. Yeah. But he was special. Yeah, he was different. But I mean, <laughs> maybe it's Indian guys that get really upset. I think it's, I, I do think it is cultural for Indians to become more animated and mm -hmm. to use the hand. He did a lot of the hand gesturing that you see in the movies, yeah. you know, and the head bobbling stuff. Yeah. He did that. He was more, this, uh, you know, he gestured. So what well. appears to be happening is the argument is between a guy who's walking <laughs> and a guy who's driving. <laughs> and the driver is the one with the camera. He seems more agitated. Because, see, this guy is like trying to tell him something the walker is. Yeah. And then the driver is like. If you want to go, then you go to see? hill and go down. Yes, he would just oh, like, hey, yes, Are you crazy? He says, <laughs> see, as soon as he said, are you crazy? That's really a lot of people's uh, set off point. If you if yeah. you ask a crazy person, are you crazy? Yeah. That's when they lose it. Yeah. You know, you can't ask crazy. Are you crazy? <laughs> or you tell them you're crazy. Then they snap. That's like the end of it, man. Yeah. Hey, guess, are you crazy? You're fucking. 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 You're Fucking bloody bastard! You. Banchot bloody. Banchot you. You bloody. Yeah, yeah. banchot you. So he, yeah. they are speak. They do so speak a common. He went something. to the the old school language and then he came back. Yeah, and fuck you, fuck, fuck you. Fuck. Banchot. <laughs> Fucking bloody bastard! You. So, yeah, yeah. Banchot bloody. Banchot you. You bloody. Banchot you. No, but it's bloody. Bloody no. Yeah, I said that would point like that too. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same gesture. So aggressive. Yeah. Fuck you. Man, the stories you, you've you told me. I know. He's really fucked up. We used to, I don't know if I told this one, but we one time we stopped for, he lo used to love pistachio ice cream, and we'd yeah. go get it at Thrifty's, which is the Rite Aid now. One time we were, we go, let's, go, uh, let's go get pistachio ice cream. I go, great. We get in the car. He goes, hold on, I got to do something. Gets out of the car, stabs the guy's tire, gets back in the car. We get pistachio ice cream. And at the time, I, my mom was in the car, and I was like, did he just stab that guy's tires? And my mother was just laughing. And she was like, well, he fucking deserved it, so we had to show him this motherfucker. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Some guy that he'd done business with. That How old were you? We had our lawn set on fire once. Uh, he had his windshield shot out on the freeway by somebody he had done business with. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, cool. that's different, man. Didn't pay taxes for like a decade. That'll do it. That's good. Bloody fucking accident. Then what you wanna? Why you fuck me? I fuck you, bloody. Why bloody you fuck bastard. Me? Fucking running like lady, eh? <gasps> oh, what? Oh. What the Ronnie? fuck, man? He says you're running like a lady. <laughs> so see, he's pissed at this guy, and then he, he said, this "Fuck shit. you, fuck you," and he's like running like a lady, eh? I love it. Because this guy's jogging, I guess, on the side of the road. Yeah, that's he's just calling funny. him. I'm calling him a woman. I fucking dog. love foreigners cussing yeah. people out. It makes me laugh. Bloody bastard. 
fucking running like lady, eh? Flaude. What the fuck, man? <laughs> but then, see, that's a good, that's yeah. a definitely a colloquialism. Like, uh, what, what the, the fuck, fuck, man? man? Yeah. They picked that up. Yeah. What yes. the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, because he can't it, say anything. He's yeah. like, bloody bitch, fucking fuck you, mother, <laughs> mother bitch. And he's yeah. like, what the fuck, man? I they all say, what the fuck, man? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck, man? That's in a lot of 80s movies. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Fucking no shout at me, innit? Why are you shouting at me? Because I am going to the work. If you don't do it, do the other place. Why are you shouting? Because of this, you are doing. Hello. I don't know. You are doing like this. I think you are do, go, going to accident. No, shouting at me, no I'm, good, man. Salting at me? Yeah. Salt assaulting me? Yeah. Oh, assaulting at me. He, yeah. he means you're assaulting me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so great. That's a great argument. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like uh, foreign foreign arguments more than I like white trash arguments that we play. Yeah. You know, like trashy white people, I don't know. This is more. It fun. can be good. It's fun like this because it's, you know what they're tr you you can try to guess what they're trying to say, yeah. and they're saying it kind of wrong. Why you fuck me? I fuck you, bloody. <laughs> Why you fuck me? I fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because so, see what he's really so trying good. to say there is. Why are you saying? Fuck you to me. Yeah, fuck I'm you. I'm saying fuck you. Yeah. But he said, "Why well, you fuck me? I fuck you." Yes, it's fantastic. That's a great way. I to mean, imagine how hard it is. Why you fuck me? I fuck you, bloody. To get a good swear on in a in a second language, it's oh. a damn near impossible. Bloody fuck you, bloody! <laughs> <laughs> bloody fuck you, bloody! Because they also, you know, the Brits, lots of bloody, lots bloody of this, bloody. bloody that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's tough. It's tough to get a perfect swear. Bloody bastard! Bloody yeah. bastard! I've heard the joke before. I don't know whose it is, but like when you're scared, <laughs> you always go to your native tongue. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I forget who did it, so I, I can't. But I, I heard somebody say that, and I was like, that's absolutely true. Like. I could be uh, speaking Spanish uh, in Latin America and fully be rapping with people, but like, if somebody pulls out a gun, I'm gonna go, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you know, you don't you don't stay in the second tongue. Of course, you always go to your native tongue when you're in fear. Well, I wonder what uh, my parents dreamed in, like, what language. I think all eventually, my parents dreamed eventually, in. it changes to English. Yeah, eventually, it changes to the what you're immersed in. That's interesting. Like, you could probably have. Like I remember when I studied a, a, abroad, I was dreaming English, English, but like three, four months in, it, w it switched over. Wow. Yeah, because it was all day, every day. That's crazy. No, Nobody was speaking English, so. That's crazy. You're just speaking Mexican all day long. Yeah, all day Mexican, yeah. <laughs> My favorite story is your senora that you lived with. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you come down for breakfast. Tell your story. No, I would, uh, I would go to uh, breakfast... Every day, uh, I lived with an old lady, a senora. Senora Tetas, like yeah. you call your mom? She was like late 70s, early 80s. Three American white boys. And the other two had been there for a while before me. So they were doing two semesters and I was doing one. So they did a full semester already. So I got there and like, I don't know, it's like over a month into me being there already and we have we have breakfast and lunch together most days sometimes dinner um but breakfast every day so i come out and i was like oh i'm going to uh i forget what city i'm going to like toledo or uh, toledo yeah or like galicia or something this weekend to visit a friend's family <laughs> and she's like oh that's nice <laughs> and i go yeah she goes will you wear underwear to breakfast there too <laughs> Because every day I would do what I always do, which is like I would just come out my boxers. Of course, which which is what you do at home, right? In front of the nanny, and in I front of the housekeeper. I never thought about, it. and she never said anything. Yeah, but she said it then. I go, <laughs> and I right away I go, oh, I'm sorry. I go, I didn't know. So from then on, I always put on like sweatpants or shorts over my boxers. Yeah, but that was her way of letting me know. Instead of saying something, she's like, "Will you wear your underwear to breakfast there too?" <laughs> You rude American yeah, pig. Yeah. She was like, Jesus, man, your nuts are out at breakfast yeah, in the morning. I was you like, still do that. I was like, dude. you're 80. You don't like it at all? <laughs> of course you like it. You do feel more comfortable in your boxers. I want to live in my boxers. Yeah. I, don't I blame love you. walking around in my boxers. I bet. Yeah. I bet that's nice. I feel like women should have boxers too. Yeah. Yeah. How come you guys get to have these like awesome shorts basically you wear under your stuff and then we have to wear like tight stuff around our cooches and the truth is our genitals suffer more by being 
yeah. seized up like that or, or sealed in. You want them to be able to breathe. Breathe. Yeah. Let I your be vagina wearing, breathe. You must. That was my mother's big one. You must let your vagina breathe at night. Don't wear underwears. When you get home, you take off your underwears. Why is Never it plural? sleep. She just pluralized things incorrectly all the yeah, time. My mom does too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's hard. English is too complicated. It is. It's not an easy language. There's words like uh, comb. Yeah, comb. So, comb is C O M B, uh-huh. but bomb is B O M B. Tomb. So bomb and comb. Right. Tomb. Right. And she's like, so it's not comb. He's comb. I'm like, yeah, just <laughs> say whatever. <laughs> yeah. After you hear it, you're like, yeah, that is kind of dumb that it sounds. Yeah different they're spelled basically the same yeah there's a lot of exceptions to rules it's it's really not an yeah. easy language to learn she still uses the wrong pronouns yes all the time. yeah she yeah. speaks pretty great though she does speak great but she'll be like she'll say like i mean she's not a non-binary but she'll refer to <laughs> like you as he and me as she and i'm just like whatever yeah let it go that doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me i'm just yeah. like you still don't get it right like 39 years <laughs> in or whatever it is 40 some years in I guess I imagine like I don't know. I guess it's so hard. It is hard. It is hard. Well, here this is the master of accents I was trying to get to. Oh, okay. Maybe you can weigh in since you're such a bragger now. For hard and first, fuck you, dog cunts. <laughs> Jesus, tastes nice on a hot day. Mm. Ugh, he's an alcoholic. You think so? <laughs> BB, you fucking dog cunts. <laughs> VB. It's. I bet he says it's a cheap beer, right? That's yeah. What well, I can see the label. Yeah. V- so the label starts with a V. Victorian so, beer. Or something. Yeah. So let's see. Let's start from the beer. Fucking dog. For cunts. hard earned thirst, fuck you. For a hard earned thirst, thirst, fuckers. fuckers. It's either the, he's either saying that name or saying fuckers. Nah. I can't really tell. For hard earned thirst, fuckers. Yeah. Dog cunts. Dog, dog cunts. cunts. I like dog cunts. I've never heard dog cunt. Have I've you? never heard that before. It's in my really life. good. Dog cunts. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, uh, I may have that to use is that. So intense. Dog like, cunts. You fucking dog cunts. I mean, we've heard cunts. Like yeah. the British say, cunt, 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 cunt. But dog cunts. Wow, that is a good one. I bet this guy is a real pig to women too. Yeah. I mean, dog cunts. <laughs> Imagine his Me Too list, how long that shit is. <laughs> Hashtag dog cunts. This guy too. <laughs> is a savage pig for sure. <laughs> dog cunts. Dog cunts. <laughs> Jesus, tastes nice on a hot day. On this Bit, is bitter. It, They're uh, Victoria, Victoria Bitter, yeah. VB. Uh, That's what he's so, saying. Yeah, so vi- bitter tastes nice on a hot day. Victoria Bitter. So does he say... Ah. VB, you fucking dog cunts. So VB, you fucking dog cunts. But at the beginning here, that's the only question. Yeah, does he say let's listen again. motherfucker or does he say uh, bitters? This part here. Hard and first, fuck yous. Fuck yous. Oh, yeah. Plural. Fuck yous. Yeah. Fuck, fuck yous. Is he Australian? Yeah. Yeah. For hard and thirst, fuck yous. Yeah. He's saying so fuck he's, yous. Okay, he's not saying bitters. I think, I bet you Victoria Bitters is like a ghetto ass brand or yeah. something. And he's For like, hard and thirst, fuck yous. Yeah. yeah. Dog cunts. Dog cunts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, would, yeah. I would not be surprised if they're like, hey, guess what? This turns out this guy has a dungeon in his yeah, house. Yeah, of course he does. And there's been girls tied up there for years. Yeah. And he's dog cunts. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, don't let any drip drop fall no. out of your mouth or I'll cut your nipples off. <laughs> he's also got that hard booze bag look um, oh, yeah. where he's really pale, but this he is, turns red easily. This is decades of consumption. <laughs> decades. You know what's A interesting? A lifetime of alcoholism right here. <laughs> Is you? I mean, you've pointed this out a lot, and now I'm starting to notice how people age. Yeah. Not so much that they age, but it's in the how, and you can really see how people have been living it. Totally. Dependent upon, like, do they look like this? Is their yeah. skin red, leathery? Yeah. Do they look like they've been drinking their whole lives? Do they have the distended, hard belly? Oh, this guy is on his lap. I mean, this guy's gonna. Have, he's gonna have a a painful death. You know. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, his insides are just gonna melt. It's probably got. Yeah. Uh, I give him about four years. Four. Yeah. 
Uh, ten. Ten bad years. Four good ones, six shitty ones on the way out. That's fair. That's you can fair. also just see like who's avoided vice. That's all it is. Is yeah. like, have you been moderate in your life or have you been But then you have to go riding it hard. Do you what what is joy to you? What brings you joy? Joy is for me, seriously, just drinking wine. Uh, and no, but I'm cheese. saying for oh. some people that vice is life. That's right. The joy right. Of life. Speaking of that. You just came back on a trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was with the vice champion. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah. Uh, I went the alcohol to, uh, champ. <laughs> yeah, I went to uh, Atlanta for the national championship game. By the way, for those who followed uh, our weight loss and remember Ari the Welcher for not paying his bet, he more than made up for it. He flew us out, he put us up, and he got unbelievable 50 yard line tickets like 20 rows up to the national championship game, which if you did not see it, you may have heard about it. If you don't follow football, it was hands down one of the best games ever, and certainly one of the best national championship games ever. I mean, we've had some good ones, so we've had some great ones, but that is right up there. It went into overtime. There was a comeback win. We just had a blast. We had so much fun. I flew in on Saturday, went to dinner with the guys, uh, Sunday we went, we played, uh, Top Golf, which is like this, this thing that's really exploded where you go in, you get like a little bay and you can hit, you play games, but you hit golf balls into an open driving range, mm-hmm. but from little bays and you order food and drinks and. Oh, speaking of drinks. So you <laughs> yeah. got to watch Bert drink for two or three days. Day. An entire, entire yeah. day. So did well, you like, keep track? So we started Saturday night. We went out to dinner. We all had a few drinks. And then we went back to the, uh, he got an Airbnb and we chilled there. And then the next day we went to, oh, we went to brunch. They really wanted to do a, like a Southern brunch. That's fun. So it started with mimosas <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't know, Bert had like three or four. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I think Ari and I had one or two, and then we go to Top Golf, and so we we go there, and he's just like double Tito's and soda. I oh, put in a big cup if you don't mind, and then starts just doing that. I'm actually like, I had a few drinks last night. I'm a lightweight. I go, I just need to rehydrate, so I'm just drinking water, water, mm-hmm. water, water. Plus, I'm mm-hmm. you know I'm the water god. So okay, so I'm doing that. Ari's having Bloody Marys, but he's having like one for every two doubles that Bert has. <laughs> And by the way, Bert's killing it. He has a great golf swing. So he's just like playing well. So he has, I don't know, we estimate, he was like, I think I had like five. We're like, I think you had like seven. And we settled on six, which is being generous. This is on golf day. Yes. So we leave there and then we go home, have a drink (laughs) at the house. So he's another one there. Uh Then we go to a cigar lounge before dinner. He has two more doubles at the cigar lounge. Doubles. Doubles. Now, this is the question, Tom. Mm. You're saying that Bert's drinking six drinks, but he's drinking doubles, correct, at each drink? Right. So doubles. it's actually 12 drinks when you're saying six. Yeah. So <laughs> so if you have the, let's say the mimosas, let's not even count them. Let's, let's just say they don't yeah, count. That's just orange juice. Yeah. yeah. So six doubles at Top Golf. We go over to <laughs> the house. He has another drink there. Down. So yeah. that's seven. Okay. This is Two a- more at the cigar lounge. That's okay. nine. Okay. One at dinner. Okay. Uh, one after dinner with the staff. Okay. Um, he has a shot with a chaser, and then one last one. So oh that's my gosh. It's an additional one, two, three, four. So that's what. Well, let's add it up. I'm not really good at math. It's thirteen, thirteen, and six. That's nineteen. So, but times two, because those are doubles. They're all doubles. 38. Yeah, so they had like 38 drinks. <laughs> wow. Do you want to know how a maniac he wow. is? Wow, so, that's a lot. Dude, he- we, 38. We, I made a dinner reservation and I fucked up. Jesus. I thought it was for later. So when I when I screwed up, we had to like figure out where to. Oh, were you gonna like, drink until? Well, no, we were gonna get dinner because it's Sunday night. We're like shit, and every place I look up, it's closed. So we finally find there's a Ruth's Chris. A uh, where? Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris is yeah. Carl's Jr.'s Ruth's Chris. <laughs> we go there, and he's when he uh, he goes to the bathroom, and when he comes back, he's like, I don't know, he's a little. I'm like, try the bread, man. It's hot. He's like, okay, and then. <laughs> 
the whole like five people from the staff come back and they're like, oh my god, he got recognized and told them, hey, wait like two minutes and then come back and recognize me in front of the guys. <laughs> So they're like, Bert, oh, oh my God, we're boy. such big fans. <laughs> okay. But then they were like talking about your mom's house. They're like, oh, personality champ. What? Like they're all just fans of podcasts and, and stand up. But he had them come back and like act like they re- they recognized us. That's so weird. Holy shit. Um, and then we hung out with like, he was like hanging out with the staff. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, isn't this the best? And I was like, do you do this after every show? He's like, yeah. Just sits there and shuts it down. And just keeps drinking and. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's the drinks that keep flowing past closing. Time. Yeah, he just likes to keep the party going. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. He's a lot of fun. When we uh, <laughs> we went to the game, we got stuck in line outside, and he turned that into like a party, just like yelling shit to people. One guy was yelling at him, like "fuck you, man," because we skipped <laughs> a bunch of people in line. And uh, were you allowed to because of your ticketing, or you just were jerks? No, no, we were jerks. I paid a, I paid a guy. Oh, smart. Yeah, um, but we we couldn't get up that far, but we did get to skip a bunch of people. And this guy was really pissed. Him and his dad. He was probably, I don't know, late twenties, and his dad was late fifties. He's a little guy, and he was like, "Motherfucker, get the fucking line!" Like, really get really aggressive. And Bert's like, "Dude, we're on television. We have to get in there to work." <laughs> And like making it seem like we're with the production crew. And uh, when we didn't get any further, the guy's like, what happened to your television? He's like, dude, Google me. I'm on TV. <laughs> and the guy goes, what's your name? And Bert goes, Tom Segura. Oh, you jerk. And the guy goes, your name is piece of shit. Oh, my gosh. And he's like, hey, dude. He goes, you're talking a lot for a little guy. Like, And, and I could feel the tension. I was like, oh, oh shit. No. It, it eventually died down, but it definitely was a, a, a pretty heated moment. Wow. Mm-hmm. <sighs> um, this reminds me, by the way, I saw the Tanya Harding movie yesterday. I Tanya. It's yeah. the fucking best movie on the planet. I want to go back to the theater and see it with you. That I'd watch bad? it again. Really, dude? It is so goddamn funny and good. And if you grew up with a fucked up family, you're gonna love it. You're gonna laugh your tits off. Anyways, Tanya Harding's mom is a real piece of shit. Yeah. And she would push her to, to be a winner. She used to pay people to heckle Tanya. Right before she would get up to skate, like literally, Tony would be walking to get on the ice, and the mother would pay a heckler to be like, "You fucking white trash, you piece of shit, go back to the trailer," because <laughs> it would motivate her, her really? to 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 skate with more fire. Or whatever, isn't that hilarious? Yeah, that's so funny. That story, I remember how dominant that story was. That was like the lead <sighs> story. You got to see this movie with me. Is Let's Tanya actually it. in it at all or no? At the very end, they show clips of her, but the movie's based on interviews done uh, by the husband and her and the people in the controversy. It's Jesus. it's so fascinating as a person. She's Here's another like foreign, by the way, a foreign cursor. Oh, good. Guy gambling. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh. A uh, fuck Jesus. A <laughs> uh, fuck Jesus? Yeah. A uh, fuck holy shit. A uh, fuck Jesus. A uh, fuck Christmas. A uh, fuck God. Jeez. Those are good curses, though. Yeah, I've never those heard are, I've these. never heard. I've heard fuck Jesus, maybe. A uh, fuck Christmas. I've never heard never somebody heard say that. fuck Christmas. Hmm, we learned two new ones. Dog yeah. hunt and fuck Christmas today. Oh, man. Yeah. For God's sake. I love this person fearfully recording the guy because you know he's like a little timid about it. This guy's about to blow a gasket. (laughs) Fuck off, fuck God, fuck Jesus. Elvis, next door, next door, next door. Fuck you! Fuck you, Jesus. That's kind of fantastic. It is good. These I'm machines start, depress me, though. I know. I'm going to start like going him. with that. Where do you think he's from? Fuck, Jesus, I, Scott, Ireland. You think this guy's Irish? You think English is his native language? Or Italian. No. What? Fuck, Jesus. Come on. You got to listen here. But You're, he's doing a lot of... I'm maybe Italian. No, he's not Italian. Fuck, oh, fuck, fuck God. Oh, fuck, Jesus. Enough. It's Italian. Next door. Next door. Next door. Fuck you. He's Malaysian. No. Yeah. Because like like I said, just next door to Ireland. It's the same thing. Yeah. 
Um, that was nice. So don't those machines depress you? They're uh, they're always in the most depressing places. The machine that he's playing, like the screen with the roulette on it or whatever. Yeah. Like, ugh. It's really <laughs> It's really depressing. Yeah, they're always in bars or like bad bars. Or going to a bar where the, the guy's putting the dollar in the poker thing. You're yeah, like, oh my it's God. so depressing. Yeah. You just know that like their life is horrible. <laughs> horrible. There's a walker somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. It says, uh, hey, Hiller, this is for Tom. I was wondering if you've ever been a logger. A logger is someone who takes a shit then stands up and tries to cut the turd in half with your pee stream. It's fun and hilarious. God. Keep an eye on tight. God. Tim out. Well, Tim, Savage. I got some news for you. I am a logger, but Ew. not that kind. No, not that kind. I was a lead logger on reality shows, which means that you log the footage. Right. That was one of my first production jobs here in Los Angeles. Right. But I've never stood up to cut my shit in half with a piece. How stream. could you cut? I mean, your piece stream would have to be so laser powerful. And it gets that way sometimes. Oh, it doesn't. Now. Yeah, if it's backed up, if you're backed up. Oh, I see. You pee hard. You pee hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's exciting. It's fun. But then your poo would have to be really soft that day, right? Not necessarily. You can pee really hard sometimes. Huh. Yeah, but you have to hold your pee during your poo, <laughs> which is more, especially if you really have to pee. It's really hard. <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and especially if you're like, because usually what will happen if you really have to Stop. pee, poo, pee. <laughs> And you poop. Like, oh, stop it. You'll this have is my favorite topic. You'll release some pee yes. and poop and then pee again. Well, that's that's always been my conundrum in life is how come I sit down and I pee, I finish peeing, and then you poo, but then you make more pee as you're pooing. Yeah, you didn't get it all out. That's why. No, I you think, think you- think it's out. But I think, I think I've made more pee during the poo. It's possible, but it's really <laughs> like, I think that is that whole muscle is not totally You relaxed. know who we got to ask? Dr. Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew. Yeah, we got to we'll save him. it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Blue Band. Are we going to see him too? Make a note of it. Possibly on yeah. Friday. Okay. Uh, Blue Band, make a note of that. Questions for Dr. Drew. The poo pee, pee poo pee question. Am I making more pee or is it just that I didn't empty my bladder the first time? Uh, mommies, I was listening to a recent episode and heard the mention of nail clipping in public. <laughs> I immediately knew I had to email you. My friend <laughs> recently decided she wanted to do something special for her mom's 60th. <laughs> she spent way more than she should have to take her mom to a show on Broadway. They sat in the third row. At one point, her mom pulls out clippers <gasps> no! and starts trimming her toenails. No. <sighs> no. Yes, dude. you read that correctly. When my friend shoots her the what the fuck... <laughs> Are you doing, look? Her mom tells her at full volume, it's dark. No one can see me, and this is boring anyway. Oh, my God. Needless to say, she was absolutely mortified as her mother proceeded to clip all 10 nails through her open-toed mom heels. They haven't spoken since they got back home, Michael. That's horrifying. That's depressing. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. That mom, I don't know. You can't teach that. You can't raise that. Not okay. No, it's not okay. That's so. That's, I mean, wouldn't you be embarrassed to cut your toenails in public? To period. Be, yeah. Yeah. In bro- on a, at a Broadway show. Like I'm embarrassed to do it in front of you. I always close the bathroom door and then I do it. Yeah. Quietly. I don't. That's really really fucked up. You don't seem to mind cutting what? your toenails in front of me. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't mind that. Yeah, I mind. Why do you mind? I don't like seeing you do it necessarily. What What does it make you feel? I'm afraid of it flying at me or just I don't like to see you doing it one leg up on the sink kind of you know I never would do it in, in public ever no. never occurred it's to me disgusting. in a million years to do that in public it's disgusting I don't mind doing it on the bed that's wrong that's not wrong <sighs> that's wrong why is that wrong why would you do it where you sleep and then you're gonna lay in the in the shavings or whatever dogs will get it or I'll, you know. the dogs won't get it they don't chew that sure they do it's, it's, it's got a nice <laughs> texture to it. Oh, Fief hates the farts. I've asked you to trim mine for years, and you've never done it. Could that be something we work on? Could we work on that, you think? No. Hey, scrums, do blind people have <laughs> standards? Since they can't glass, would Moose Soup Lady be gross to them? Hmm, see oh. Holiday. Yeah, I think well, we talked about that. Blind people can touch your face and, and yeah. feel what you look like, so... That's how they see your face. So of yeah, course. yeah, of course they, they, they definitely have standards. They could touch your face. And be like, oh, you're ugly as shit. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, do identical twin sisters get their period for the first time at the same time? <laughs> Tilden. 
It's a good one. Wow, that's a really good thought provoking. See, I don't know anything about like the intricacies of how that would work. <laughs> Do they I know share that, like, a vagina? Twin sisters? No, I thought. I'm sorry. I think of co-joined twins. I was thinking about. No, no, of no. That. no, no. But I know. Has, isn't there a thing that like women who spend time together will will Absolutely. sync up? Absolutely. Why does that happen? Absolutely. I mean, I don't think. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if there's a medical. It's it's hormonal. It's pheromonal. So like a home with three women in it will sync up, and they'll all have it at the same time. Yes, unless okay. So one whoever is the dominant female will lead the pack. Whoever's on the birth control pill, mm-hmm. her her cycle's regulated. The other women will follow the one who's on the pill. It's just it's the it's hormones, it's pheromones. You pick it up, and it's absolutely true. I wonder what the utility in having it all at the same time is. Though. I would imagine From something nature. to do like being in a village and everybody being fertile. The women at oh. the same time, maybe they could bring up children together at the same time. Or I, a duke I could bust know. nuts in all three. At yeah, the same, it's, like the same week. That's how you wouldn't say that, but yeah, yeah. scientifically they could all bust nuts. Yeah. Uh, and all these chicks, yeah. And he could be like, yeah. I wonder what my kid will look like with you. I wonder what my kid will look like with you. I wonder what my kid will look like with you. <laughs> Just keep fucking all the different girls. Yeah. That's I imagine cool. it's for that reason. Sure. That's sure. super cool. Here's a, let's see what this says. One more email here. Uh, when you have a lot of gas, your colon swells up and pushes against the bladder, which causes you to piss abnormally frequently. When I eat refried beans and drink iced tea... My two favorites. I spend an entire day <laughs> pissing and farting like a motherfucker. Those are your faves. Hope huh? this helps, James. Hope this helps with Hope what? What? <laughs> That's the email. <laughs> Hope this helps. It says farts push the piss out. Oh, uh, oh. We must have asked about that. We need a little more context here. I don't know, but uh, listen, the iced tea are, is caffeinated too. It makes you pee more. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. Mispronouncing words. This is one I've been fascinated with. I love my it. Own dad. Mommy's on episode of 429 with Josh Wolf. You were talking about having foreign parents who say wrong shit, shit wrong. My mom is Hispanic. My dad is Caucasian. Both say stuff horribly wrong, <laughs> even though my dad only speaks English. <laughs> so that's my favorite kind. He says pigs dive, not huh? pigs die when a room is a mess. You got to write that one down yeah. for the act. Pigs, pigs dive. Pigs dive. Okay. Like like fucking nonstop. No matter how many times I correct him, <laughs> he dive. still says it. I'm also 100 percent retarded because I thought that vapor rub uh-huh. was vapor rub because that's how my mom has said it in her accent. <laughs> yeah, 23 totally. fucking years I didn't realize it was vapor rub. <laughs> totally. Anyways, if you want to move in, you can move in. You just gotta fuck me. <laughs> and despite what Dr. Drew says, farts 100 percent push the shits out. Will that vapor rub? Ba- vapor ba- rub. I can totally. Vapor rub. Of yeah. course. Vapor rub. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, I actually, we had this debate too. We were farting together and I had to shit after I had farted a lot. And I, you know, I don't know if Dr. Drew is entirely right. We can challenge him. He's not like the official. But wait a minute. Because how come a fart signal that you have to shit then? There has to be a causal relationship. Well, no. What he said was they can occur together right he's like that can absolutely happen at the same time but they are interdependent of one another right they they're not necessarily connected in other words but, fart and a shit they can have their own life but i feel like every time i fart a lot i have to shit it, it te- it's, it's signaling that i need to go shit it's a really interesting really <laughs> interesting thing to talk about <laughs> um uh, here's the jelly bean taste test what's the jelly bean taste test we got skunk spray or licorice. No, I know where this is going. You do? Is there what? vomit happening? I haven't seen it. I don't like it. I don't like That's it. That's skunk oh. spray. <laughs> okay. I don't like this already. Bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's vomit. I yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know it. Didn't know it. No, that's bad. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And I knew it would fucking lead there. <laughs> I didn't know. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. I didn't know. It doesn't say that uh. anywhere on here. Doesn't say it on here. Very disappointing. Babe. I did not know that. You know I have to talk about this in therapy. You know that this is a, a, a thing. Yeah. I, di- I didn't know it was on there. I swear. Look. I'm not here. looking. I'm not putting my headphones on. Uh, see, I just opened this. I didn't see that. I swear to you. I didn't see it. All right. Closed. I'm going to take you in to my therapist so you can hear me talking about my problems with barfing. Okay, I will. Okay? All right. 
Okay. I'm not going to put this on because I don't trust no, no, you. No, I come no, on. No, you've lost my trust. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. That was not my idea. I swear to you. I swear to you. You're, you, you're telling me you didn't do it, but you're operating the soundboard. You're the one choosing the clips. So I just, how can you not know? Because I didn't see the clip before. Uh huh. I swear I didn't. Okay. I, all it says is, is barf clip. No, Tom, it doesn't. Look, barf clip. Look. Jelly bean taste test. Okay. That's what it says. Okay. All right. I didn't know. Didn't know it said that. Um, this lady, I, I actually saw a remix of this lady's. You saw it too because you're like, what is wrong with you? I was watching the the remix. Here, put your things on. Nope. Babe, I'm not playing that. Don't trust you. Lost I trust. You. I promise you. I promise you. You lost my trust. I promise you. Do you, you swear on our son's yes. eyes? Yes. I swear on our son's eyes. I won't play that thing. This lady was, uh, remember, do you remember this? Because you're, you're not going to see the song version, just the independent. There's no God, but God is real. I used to come home drunk from school, laying up with means, out there prostituting, having oral sex with my mouth, okay. licking me in balls. <laughs> 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 the pastor just took the mic away oh, from yeah, her. Yeah. You can't see the clip. She's kind of fucked up, I think. <laughs> I think she's still drunk. Yeah. She's still licking men's balls. Yeah. And then, uh, you nope. know, uh, Suede, the remix god, you know what I'm talking about? No. Of course you don't. Um, he made. Because I'm 41 and I don't pay attention to kid stuff anymore. It's not I'm a kid a thing. Adult. It is not a kid thing. I'm a uh, responsible adult. Babe. Adult responsibilities. I uh, reposted it because he took that video. He's the same one that did the, um, what's that that white girl who was on Dr. Phil? Remember? <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, That's so stupid. Yeah. That was so stupid. The, um, <clears throat> the hose. Okay. The hose outside. What was that? <laughs> I forget. It's so stupid. It is pretty stupid. But anyways, he took that lady giving that testimony in... Um, church. Hi, my name is Tanya Mancy, and I'm a backslider. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> I just come home drunk from school, laying up with men, out there <laughs> prostitute, <laughs> licking men's balls. <laughs> licking, 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 yes. licking, licking, balls. licking, 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 yes. licking, 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 Pray for me. I'm a backslider, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. I'm a backslider, y'all. I just come home drunk from school. Pray for me. Pray for me. I'll be a prostitute laying up with me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Licking me in ball. Licking me in ball. I can watch those all day. <laughs> I can't too. Never, it never gets tiring. To this me. is why the internet was created. Yeah, for this for kind that, of shit. For that, for the stupid remix. You know, remix is one of my absolute favorites. Two Thanksgivings ago, I got greens, beans, tomatoes, potatoes. Oh rah, yeah, rah, yeah. Rah, rah, You know, and she, did, she green, counts like beans, this. I like that. Tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's what I know. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He has really good ah, ones. Suede. Shit. He's really good. I don't even know that guy's name, but I like it. Yeah, he does he does it well. Um <sighs> the internet. Speaking of, there is a now somebody made in in that whatever <laughs> vein, the, the, the that lane of taking a remix and then cutting video to the music, you know, yeah. which is what that was. Yeah. Somebody did that with machines within. No. Mm-hmm. Machines within. Let's Machines see. With Machines within. Uh, what does it say? Teen Fall, teen. Fallen teen. knives featuring DJ Polly Fluid Bond mix. I don't know, I can't I'm Polly and I'm by. Song in my head over the weekend. A lot of people. No lie. A lot. Of it's people not are. a bad song. I feel like it's not that bad. <laughs> It's pretty official already. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. I'm singing my song. Here we go. Say it again. 
pretty good, man. Really good. Song is dope. Yes, it is. So the uh, machines within guy, this guy, the actual singer, you know, we sent him a sent him a check. Yeah. Uh, so he he got his check and yeah for, for the shirts. Yeah. And then he was like, "Can I get some shirts now?" Oh. So we're sending him some shirts too. He's so talented. Yeah. I wonder what his next um, song will be. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be hard to find out. What's he working on? I don't know. I'll make sure to, <laughs> to find out. Uh, oh, speaking of, um, so yeah, thanks to everybody that got machines within stuff and, um, you know, the Christmas stuff. But machines within. within. Machines within. So last year we did during the winter time we did our jean hoodie. Try it out. And a lot of people liked it. It was, it was a big hit. But one of the things that people told us, they're like, oh, I wish you had a zip up. Mm. I wish you had a zip up. It's the YMH zip up hoodie. Oh, it looks so, so good. It's very soft. Um, as black. soft as the jean hoodie. Yeah, it is as soft as that. It's a zip up though. So I tried to do it because uh, many people asked for a, uh, a zip up hoodie. And then uh, to go with the new special, I have a... Um, a uh, a t-shirt i'll just let you find it it's up there and watch the special and then if you like it you can get that shirt I have a, awesome i have a couple other shirts coming uh within the next couple weeks and i also have um been working on mugs Exciting. so there's some um, some mugs coming bunch of stuff in the store go to merchmethod.com slash tom segura or just go to tom com and go and just hit store um Bunch and of stuff there. I also have a store on my website, Christina P Online, uh, shirts from my special as well. You may find those. You there. can find those there, and you can um, put them. You can put them in your butt if you get hey, them. Hey, but yeah. Why would you say that? I don't know. Why not? Um, you know the zip up's totally different than just a pullover. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then the kangaroo pouch. It's like you're, it's like two different vibes, totally. It's totally different vibes. Like yeah. when I'm going just full travel dumpy day, I like the kangaroo pouch jean. Yeah. Solid item. Put your cell phone in that front pocket. If I'm feeling yeah. a little, like I want to jazz it up, I'll do zip up instead. It's a different look. It's a totally different look. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there's um, something happening online where uh, listeners are saying, Hey, Blue Bland, we're, we assume you're in charge of reading all our bu- bullshit. <laughs> um, there's a, a debate as to the origins of Blue Band. And so oh. people have been commenting on the Facebook group. Uh-huh. And it says, like, yo, who is Blue Band? Has anyone ever seen him? <laughs> um, someone says, he sleeps standing up in the mommy's bedroom closet. <laughs> Others say he spends most of the time at a local bowling alley, uh, DJing, uh, children's parties in exchange for room and board. <laughs> no one knows about his background. Uh, one frigid November evening when Tommy was out for a walk, he heard frantic splashing from a nearby reservoir. And he went, he saw a commotion, there was a soaking wet blue band fighting for his life. Pinned, uh, T-Band snapped into action, dove into the freezing water, grabbed blue band with one arm, paddled to shore. Since that fateful evening, blue band owed his life to DJ Dadmouth and is therefore bound to serve the mommies until his final breath. Hmm. Um, he could, let's see... Um, Blue Band is doomed to isolate farts from YouTube clips if through <laughs> listener and submitted email. I heard he had a, a double pipe classic one time. It's very rare. I don't know. Do you want to comment on the origins of Blue Band? That's a very elaborate uh, story. Yeah. Uh, but it's close. It's close to the truth of it. Yeah. I mean, he does live in a nest. Yeah. Uh, but it's on a sofa mattress, the Lumen Leaf collection. That's true. And it's in a tree. It's in a tree. It's one of the few people that doesn't mind putting a mattress up in a tree. <laughs> Most people would be like, isn't that going to fall out of the tree? Not if you set it up right. Yeah. You, you ever seen a fucking tree house before, dummies? Yeah. So uh, he does sleep in a tree. He is. He does have feathers. <laughs> I don't know. He's blue. Yeah. What more do you need to know, guys? That's pretty pretty much the whole story. Yeah. Secret identity. 
It was a secret, you guys. Come he was on. on a show. He's been on. He was in. Yeah, the he's been. He's been, he's been here, but I don't think we've shown his face. No, no for good haven't. reason. He has a severe uh, scarring on his face. He doesn't like to be seen in public. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it says here that they could help but notice Christina has whiter teeth than. Oh time. yes, you're right. Keep it tucked, Rick. Well, I know you'd be happy to see that, Gene. Thank you. It did make me happy. My teeth are whiter than yours, but I do feel as though I work at it a little more than you. Yeah. At oral hygiene, generally. At oral hygiene? Yeah, I guess yeah. you're pretty committed. You don't really brush. I've watched you. You just do a very cursory, sloppy, true. like our toddler brushes. No, that's not true. <laughs> I have a timer on it. Uh huh. I have a timer, so it goes right, and then it goes like, yeah, it times it. I've watched you. It's not good. Yeah, it is. You brush like a two-year-old. No, I don't. Yeah. No. Hey, I have an observation that's going to make you feel a lot better about yourself. Are you ready? Sure. I was sitting, watching a documentary about some crazy person or something, and mm -hmm. then it occurred to me that I like mental illness too, as do you, but you like murderers. You like serial killers. I just don't like the killing stuff, but... We both like people with fucked up psyches. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of the glue of this whole show is you and I both laugh at the mentally challenged weirdos of the world, right? I don't think that's true. Why you fuck me? I fuck you, bloody. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I think we, uh, you know, potato, potato. I think we've been arguing two sides of the same coin here. I, I've been judging you uh, with your love of murder shows, but the truth is you like abnormal psychology, and so do I. But I, yeah. But I just don't like the violent, I don't like the killing stuff. True. But we both like psychos. Weird. And weirdos. Fucked up people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like... I love fucked up psyches. I think it's one of the most me fascinating too. things. And it's it, it is kind is. of the glue that holds this show together. Right. I mean, if you really didn't have any um, interest in that, this podcast wouldn't even work. Well, the marriage wouldn't work. Uh, I don't know. You could probably still find a way to make the marriage work. Yeah, but work. you'd be so bored with me if I didn't laugh at the same stuff you did, really. That's true. You laugh at everything up until violence, right? <sighs> yeah, because I'm a, I'm a mother. I've given life. And, right. and, and to me, it's just, I, I can't watch people dying. It's too hard. Yeah. Not like guys, you guys kill each other, blow shit up, we make life. Women are the opposite Different. end. We're destructive. Yeah, yeah. you guys are fucking crazies. Yeah, we're too aggressive. Like, yeah, bloody testosterone. fuck you, bloody! <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, bloody! Bloody fuck you, bloody. Oh, bloody, not blondie. Yeah, bloody the fuck singer. you, bloody. <laughs> bloody fuck you, bloody. Bloody fuck you, bloody! <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. Bloody! And then the very casual... What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? <laughs> My teeth are so much wider, though. You do have great teeth. I I've know. I've always given you that. Let me tell you, though, I worked for many years. I had really bad teeth growing up. Mm. This is braces, headgear, retainers, veneers, you name it. Yeah. Whiteners. God damn. You got really good stuff there, Jim. <laughs> it's, it's like my best, I would say. The good thing about your teeth is that once you get them all niced up like this, you just got to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. My parents moved. I know, right? Today. Yeah. Oh, today? Yeah. Dang. They bought a new house. Like, it's their final house, you know? Damn. It was like, we're never going to move again. I was like, why is that? <laughs> I was like, oh, because you're going to die there. <laughs> Your dad's he's pretty like, open. He's like, yep, pretty much. <laughs> Your dad is very accepting of his mortality, I found. They do this thing now. This is just aging where they call and talk to me about like the most boring thoughts. Yeah. And and, and no, just things they're doing. Like he calls me, he's like, Well, we're uh boxing up some stuff now for the move. And I'm like, like I'm waiting for the the important information <laughs> i'm like yeah and he's like and then uh tomorrow movers will come <laughs> yeah that's what and, happens uh, <laughs> head over to a new place okay like, i know that you're moving because we've been talking about it is there a point to this call though <laughs> he's like well uh and then they'll uh <laughs> set us up and uh, then it's a uh, new place after that. Yeah. I'm like, right. The concept of moving is not above my capacity to understand things. Yeah. Anything else? He's like, got the, uh, switch the cable off. Got a new cable provider. 
we're going to go back to uh, DirecTV and uh, mail. We got a new, new address because we're moving. Oh, my God. And uh, no pool, which is good. We never used the pool. <laughs> Even though it's Florida, we just didn't use it. Like, All right. I think we're good to go. Yeah. I feel like he just needs like more people to talk to. Yeah. I think this is why I can't participate in 99% of the conversations that exist on earth. Yeah. I can't fi- I can't do it. I can't hear people's the banality of their daily existence. Now, what's the phrase he's been saying to you for the last year though? Tell me your mother and I. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been saying this every call he's like, "Tell me mother and I are getting ready for the next chapter." Next phase of our lives with retirement. <laughs> He's retiring at the end of this year. Wow. You know, like, so, mother and I are thinking. So, he goes on these fan. I guess everybody does. We all, you know, everybody goes, like, what are we going to do over the holidays? Or what are we like? And then you fantasize about your retirement, you know? Like, yeah. He's like, what I think we're going to do is we'll rent a car <laughs> and we'll just drive because we have nothing tying us down, you know, no job. So, We'll just be able to drive all these places your mother's never been, you know, uh, the Grand Canyon, okay, uh, Vermont. From Florida. All right. He's going to drive from Florida. And he's like, we could just leave, you know, uh, six weeks at a time. Uh-huh. So I go, yeah. And then he tells me this 500 times. They come out for Christmas, and I go, Mom, are you excited about all your road trips coming up? <laughs> and she just closes her eyes. <laughs> As if to say, I've heard this and I hate it. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) And then uh, I go, so do you realize kind of what he's talking about? Like how long? (laughs) I go, because, you know, he he won't do like 10 hours of driving. So he's talking about driving like maybe like four hours one day, five hours from South Florida to the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so the first day, the first night you spend the night in Florida. The second night, I don't know. Maybe you make it to Mississippi. Maybe. You know the third. So I'm like, you're talking about at your pace, eight days going out there. <laughs> and she's like, what? And he's like, yeah. And then I see her go. Sounds no. horrible. She goes, I'll meet you there. And then I just saw his fantasy that he talked about for a year collapsed in yeah. one conversation. But also, I wanted to go. Didn't you ever like think about talking to her about it? Like, I feel like you just had this fantasy that you never even pitched to her because well, it sounded like news to her she was like what of course it's news to her because y- you've been telling me the fantasy for a year and the- my first thought was always why would a 70 year old woman want to sit in a car for eight hours a day for weeks, for weeks? it just doesn't sound like fun for her and he just he was like yeah no <laughs> and she's like no he's like oh like hey you need a whole new i think he just wanted to have <laughs> You know what I mean? He likes plans. Yeah. He likes knowing the, what the plan is. And now it's like, hey, there's no plan again. He's like, fuck. Now what? Yeah. Maybe if they got like a mobile home. Absolutely not. She won't do it. 100% no. <laughs> Why? Yeah. That's a little better. At least she could lay down and play with the dog or whatever. No, it's not going to happen. No, it, it's like, a, that's a, to me, that's my nightmare. Like, that's yeah. like being a feature act again. That's all yeah. I did was drive for weeks and yeah. months. And it's terrible. I know. It's a nightmare. I I hate that. And like staying in motels, like they'd have to find <laughs> shelter every night, yeah. like a different city. Like crazy. That's really a bad idea for two old people. I know. Yeah, you know, let's, let's stay at the Red Roof Inn. Like she's not going to want to do that. I know. It's really crazy. No. Ah, oh, boy. What a nightmare. Total nightmare. Sounds horrible. We'll they should drive, just cruise. We'll just drive across the country. And she's like, what? I can't think of anything worse. He's making her go on a train ride, and she's like totally Uh, not excited about it. No, neither. I would not. It's like a train ride to D.C., and he's like, yeah, it's not not that nice, uh, but it's fun. And I see her going like... It's not fun. "Mm -hmm." It's not... Yeah. It's so boring. Like I think because I've traveled already. I've driven. I've driven through the entire U.S. Like I got it. I get it. Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah. And I go, how long are you going to spend in D.C.? And he goes, uh, three nights, I think. And I go, that's not a lot of time to see all the things they have in D.C. Why don't you stay longer? <laughs> and I see my mom looking at me, and she goes, you're going to pay for this. And I go, why don't you stay like five nights? You can really see all the uh, museums. God. And then you take the train back. He goes, no, 
He's like, I think we'll fly back. You know, it's expensive. I go, take the train back. You already took it there. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get, a, get her upset. Take your time. Take your time. Enjoy the train. Take a detour. Take the train. See where else the train goes. Where it goes <laughs> other, else, other places. That's horrible. You know, so funny. So great. They should go to Europe. Yeah. You want to see a dad boner? Yeah. Let's see what's going on. I, we're goose hunting right now, and there's literally a kangaroo getting ready to fucking jump by us. Oh my god. Yeah, where see? are they? How would they see a kangaroo? What are you talking about? It's like American guys. No, there can't be a kangaroo. I think there is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. What? In oh America? My god. Here it comes. There it Holy is. There it shit. is. It's a fucking kangaroo. Is he in <laughs> Australia? I don't know. That's nutty. Doesn't say where it is, but that is a total. But see, that's a well earned reaction yeah if he's in the u.s that's pretty nutty i think almost anywhere you see a kangaroo running by you flip out it's pretty rad that's pretty rad what about a dad boner watching a cat no i saw this one this is dumb i don't like this one mm-hmm. i like this one this isn't a dad boner but this is a cat also everyone who likes our facebook page will be invited to a special lego town event that's not open to <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> The cat put his paw in this guy's mouth yeah. when he was talking. He Aww. throws the cat. He throws the cat here in a second. <laughs> that was cute. It's a sweet guy. Yeah. He's like me. Cats are silly. Does that guy remind you of me or no? No. Why? You're he's way more sexual than you. Like That's the rude. sexual energy is just oozing off that guy. You're rude. You rude you rude as hell. Um. All right. Well, that's it. All right. Okay. Why does your dad? <clears throat> did we talk about this last time? What? Why does your dad make so much noise when he sits up? Like I noticed that he would just be sitting. He would be like kind of laying back from on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Why the noises? Like, does it hurt? There's a lot of things I want to ask him about. <laughs> why? Why do you do that? Huh? He's so odd. He really is. He's odd, and he's also <laughs> so comfortable being himself. I know. I love him. I think that's why he's so awesome. Yeah. And he really fits into our life. Like, you were gone, and it was just the three of us, Top Dog, LJ, and I. Yeah. And LJ went down for a nap. I went to take a nap. And he just chilled on our couch and watched, like, a warm He's movie. the most low-maintenance guy. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah. I came down, and he's like, Christina, you know, Alice is just the cutest kid. Like, he got into that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. He just, all he wants is like a little bit of snacks. Like yep. you have to give him some treats every now and then. His some Cokes. TV. Yeah. Some TV. And he's happy. It's true. He's, he's a low so chill. guy. It's really great. He's the best. He's actually really cool to have around. I kind of wish he would just live on our couch. I don't mind at all. I know. I know. It'd be fun. He's the sweetest. I think we'll continue to see them twice a year though. That's just the way it's going to go. Yeah. That's too bad. I hope they visit more, especially now that they're going to be, got all this time, this chapter, this next chapter is going to be nice. <laughs> Figure out all these road trips. I hope so too. I like I'll having just stay, them. Stay out here for a little while, you know. <sighs> they don't know what hang. to do. They, the whole time they were here over Christmas, they just went to the mall every single day. I know. <laughs> we're, you know, there's Malibu, right? Like there's the ocean. It was the weather was beautiful, and yeah. they were like, "We're going to the mall." <laughs> okay, that's what we did in Maui. <laughs> I guess we're related. Um, thanks again for listening. Uh, please check out. Like I said, the new special Friday, Disgraceful. Also, Mother Inferior is on Netflix. That's Christina's special. Um, you can come see us live, Christina P. online, TomSegura.com. Thank you again for all your support. And uh, we'll see you next week. Next few weeks we have guests. Um, then we'll do a couple weeks without. You know, we go back and forth. But thanks again, always as always, for listening, watching the show. All right. Goodbye, everybody. This is... Hi, Diseased Mommies by Chris Spence. Here you go. You need closeness of other humans to develop the mechanism for emotional regulation. Charlie! Oh, honey. Is that Charlie? Like, at the end of the day, what is a race anyways? You feel me? Because, like, we all one. We all here on this world are supposed to be equal. It's just in the past, people was messed up and stuff. Oh, honey. Calm down! Calm down! Oh, honey. Out! 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 Oh, no. Is that not...
relationship between the substrate and the environment that results in an abnormal state of physiology reflected in signs and symptoms that follow a predictable pattern we call it natural history with a predictable response to treatment Juggalo. 